I, I want to make a personal uh, journal now. Um, <clears throat> last night, uh, the uh, United States was hit with a uh, the harp uh, weather machine. And it went through five states, hit 300 mile per hour winds. And um, the targets were the nursing home in Manette, uh, Arkansas, the firehouse in Sanford, Tennessee, the candle field in Mayfield, Kentucky, and an Amazon warehouse, I forget where. Um, <clears throat> uh, I felt yesterday, I, I right before the storms were hitting, or because the storms hit at night, I did go yesterday. Um, I left home uh, to go shopping, and I wore a lot of clothes because it had been ice cold in the morning. And then uh, when I returned from shopping an hour later, I could feel the warmth on the air. It was an incredible change of temperature from this icy cold in the morning. I could feel this ice draft just pushing through my window. And then to, I had bundled up to go out. And uh, then I was just pulling off these jackets. It was very warm in the air, almost like sticky. Um, <clears throat> so uh, um, uh, with um, the this magnitude, and you can see the trail on the weather pa pattern, and uh, the way that the harp over the, uh, the high frequency auroral, um, you know, research project, um, where they are, it's a weather machine. They're using uh, antennas to what they say is uh, over the horizon radar. It's where you send a laser into the upper atmosphere and you, that area changes temperature and it creates, they can create like, basically it acts like, like a thermal shield and it helps like, uh, how would you say, like diffract uh, energy because of the density in the air. So they call it, they say that they freeze the atmosphere or whatever, God really knows what is really going on there. I guess because that the air can become so cold that it does hold snow, you know, uh, or it holds moisture. But, um, uh, <clears throat> they, so this is the explanation of this weapon. What I think is occurring after seeing the devastation of last night and the, the, the movement of air, I am convinced that there's no uh, over the her horizon frequency baloney, salami baloney. It is there. It's like thermal barrack weapons being detonated in space. And the only way that you would be able to discharge, like pretend that the sky is the front line and you just see if you look at the weather radar you can just see the sky was just ripped apart and uh it could it, it clearly had to have been like a, a weapons being discharged in the upper atmosphere and how would you accomplish this you would have to get drones or freaking satellites to, to discharge these weapons in the upper atmosphere, actually, in order to move weather, or in order to move air like that. And uh, it, this attack, these fucking weapons are mass destructive. They were so big that they pushed air across the entire country. I live in New York. This storm system was occurring in South America, not South America south of the United States. Uh, so um, this is 1,000 miles apart. The America is 1,500 miles um, from shore to shore or longer. And um, this occurred in the southern United States. I live in New York. This occurred in the afternoon time. It was approximately 1 p.m. Um, when, um, when, okay, so it was 6 a.m. in New York when I felt um, the, uh, this cold, just, um, biting cold, um, outside. Then, um, it was, um, 1 p.m. when you could feel the hot, sticky air. And this distance is, um, from sh the other shore here, 
or no, let's not say the other shore, let's say from that southern area here is I think 1,500 miles or maybe 1,700. So it crossed this distance. So clearly it was weapons being discharged and they apparently are hiding this. And I did, I noticed that the um, uh, guys kept saying like, well, on this radar map and on this radar map, you can see this. And never before in history have we've had these readings on this map using, because they're using this technology to map these um, uh, uh, air systems and pressure systems. So I thought that was also just a curious, um, uh, uh, how do you say, indicator, pointer. 